Hi, my name is Ranit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to talk about frequency analysis and show you how to list resonant frequencies and their respective mode shapes. Well, first of all, why are resonant frequencies important? Well, when a structure experiences vibrations near their natural frequencies, it is highly likely that there is going to be some damage done to your shape and the structure of your design. And if we are able to find these frequencies, we can either stay away from them or enhance our design in a way that it doesn't fail when these vibrations occur. In this example, we have a tuning fork that is subject to vibrations. We are going to run frequency analysis on it and find the resonant frequencies and their respective mode shapes. In order to run the analysis, we need to make sure that we have an, a fixture in place. I have added a fixed fixture at the bottom of the tuning fork and I'm going to run this analysis now. Once the analysis has completed running, the user can expand the results folder and toggle through different resultant displacements. The user can also right click on the results folder and select list resonant frequencies in order for SOLIDWORKS to list the uh, resonant frequencies and their respected mode shapes. Frequencies are listed in both radians per second and hertz. Like I mentioned previously, user can also toggle through different resulting displacements to check and analyze their mode shapes. A user can also animate these displacements for a better visualization of how vibrations would affect their structure and stability of your model. For example, if I was interested in knowing how my tuning fork was deforming under displacement 1 or mode shape 1, I simply right click on it and select animate and I can move the speed from slower to faster to see how my tuning fork is deforming under mode shape 1. To give you a better idea, I can rotate this part and you can see how your tuning fork moves. User can also change and select different mode shapes by editing definition of the existing resultant displacements by simply right clicking on it and selecting edit definition. And under plot step, you can select what mode shape are you looking for and once you've selected the desired mode shape, you can confirm by clicking the green check and this will display the selected mode shape. I hope you found this video interesting and knowledgeable. This is Ronit Mukherjee, an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. Thank you very much.